Okay, with this one we want to make sure that our elbows are created as a block. So I'm going to use and make one of these a block and I'm going to use it multiple times. And then I'm going to scale this one up. For this drawing we will not put any dimensions on it so I'm not looking for you to put any dimensions. I'm just going to create the pipe run, create it as a block, and then I'll create the detail of it. Let's start off by creating a rectangle. I'll locate the first point here and the X and Y should be 3.6 comma 0.5. Now if you take a look at this and you can tell that we have another dimension of 3.85 on this. So if I want to do a little bit of math it's 0.25. And I can use that to rotate and get the second half of this one. So let's go to rotate. Select your rectangle. I'm going to touch and track from this end point. Go out this direction. 0.25. Enter. Select the word copy and come, well, and also turn your ortho on and come vertically to this location. Now go to mirror, select your rectangle, go from this endpoint down to this endpoint, and this time I'm going to answer yes to this question. Next, let's go ahead and create our circle or if you want to you can also use an arc in this case I'm just going to use a circle that has a radius the center point will be at the location of where these two lines will meet so I'm going to touch this end point touch this one and when they intersect left click the radius is 0.6 create another circle at this center, its radius is 3.5. Let's go ahead and trim this away. So I'll start with the outsides and trim to the insides. Now that I have my pipe created, or my elbow, what I want to do now is I want to make this into a block. Go to Insert, Create Block. You should get a dialog box that will appear. First thing you want to do is give it a name. So here I'm just going to type in elbow. You can pick a point of where you want to control this from. So I'm going to select the word pick point. And I'm going to pick this midpoint here. Then I'm going to go to select objects and put a window around everything that I want to be a block. After you're done that, hit the enter button. Do you want to allow it to be scaled or exploded? And all of this is okay. And I, I do have an inch in, uh, units option here, which is in inches. Just select okay. Now if I touch on any part of this, you can see that it is a block. So what I'm going to do next is go back to the Home tab, choose Mirror, select my block, Enter. I'm going to touch this midpoint and drag down to a distance of 2, Enter. Then I'm going to go to the left or the right. Make sure you have your ortho turned on. I'll click over here and hit Enter. For my lines in between them, I'll start with the line command. I'm going to touch this endpoint and come up to where it intersects here. Left click. And then left click where it perpendiculars. I can mirror that or I can copy it. In this case, I think I'll copy it. Select the line. Base point will be from this endpoint. 
going to that endpoint. Okay, so the next thing I have to do is create a offset or a mirror from this point, or in this case, a rotation. Let's go to rotate, select my objects I have here. My base point of rotation will be, I'm going to touch this endpoint and drag this direction, a distance of, and you're kind of thinking in your head what's half of 11, so 5.5 enter make sure you select the word copy that's on your command line and you can see when I get it this direction I can do a left click or I can type in 180 degrees either one should work let's go ahead and draw a line from this endpoint or quadrant I'm going to track up to where it intersects with this front line. That's where I left click and complete that. Do the same again, or you can mirror and copy it. I'm just going to touch that endpoint, end come up to where it intersects with this line, left click, and then go where it perpendiculars to this line. Okay, so you can pretty much see that I have the pipe run already completed. I'm just going to copy this shape over to here. Let's go ahead and insert in our title block. The way we're going to do that is underneath the insert command, choose insert. And you can see that it's going to give me my recent blocks. I'm just going to insert from the library. From here, what I like to do is select the little books. And then I'm going to navigate to wherever I have my title block at. And in this case, I need a B-size title block. Select the word open. Then to come down on the lower half here, make sure that your scale is set to 1. My rotation is OK. And this time I'm going to tell it what my insertion point will be. And I know it's kind of hard to see this, but everything is sitting at 0, 0. OK, so now I should be ready to place my title block in. There it is. Now it finally appeared. So I'm going to select here. You can see that it's following my cursor around. I'm going to type in 0, 0 and hit enter. Now you do see that my pipe run is a lot bigger than my title block. Or well, sorry, my yes, my pipe run is bigger than my title block. I'm going to go ahead and close this now. So what I have to do is determine how big my title block needs to be in order to fit my pipe run in. Never scale these down to fit inside your title block. Always scale your title block up when you're doing this. What we're learning here on the first part is we're going to create these drawings and we're going to use this as kind of the manual option and we're doing everything in model space. So if you're coming across that, don't do anything in paper space yet. Well, we're just going to do everything in model space. So I'm going to figure out how far I want to scale this up. Okay, so what I like to do, and I have this cheat sheet available to you, is use this. This will tell me what my scale factor is going to be and what is a corresponding scale to go with it. So here, in this column, you're going to see all of my scale factors. And these is what I'm going to actually put in my title block in order to satisfy that. We have a architectural, mechanical, and we also have a metric. Right now we brought in our title block and it's at 1 to 1. And then I'm going to adjust it up. So I need to make that title block bigger. So I'm going to try 2 
And if that doesn't fit, I'll try four. Okay, so the way that I like to do this is select my title block, do a right click, and bring up the properties box. In my properties box, I'm looking for scale X, scale Y, and scale Z. All of those are setting to one. If I change each one of these to two, that is making my title block scaled up to two times. You can see right now my pipe run is still not fitting in there comfortably. So I'll go up to four. And you can see now I have plenty of room to scale my title block or put my pipe run on the inside of that. So let's go ahead and move this on the inside. I'll just hit the escape button two times to clear out of the properties box. And I'll go ahead and close it. Back to the Home tab. I'm going to move these up. And just kind of get it over in, into the side a little bit. And then I'm going to move this one by itself. So I'm just going to move it in this location. Scale. Select this elbow. Select the base point. And I can make this two or four. Let's see how big two looks. So two times. And normally that would be okay if you're happy with that one. I can undo that just by doing a control Z. Go back to scale. And let's take a look at what four times will look like. Select my base point. Tell it four. And this is probably a good place to have this one if I was doing this drawing. So from here, you need to fill in your title block. The way I fill in my title block is type in A-T-E, enter, enter, select my title block. You could fill in your name. Your date should fill in for you. The scale of this one is at four. So I'm going to type in three inches equals one foot dash zero inches. Project name for this one. I want you to just simply call it a pipe run. Go ahead and fill in your name. And like I said, the date should fill out. If it doesn't, go ahead and type in the date here. Go ahead and select OK. Next thing I need to do is I need to adjust these line type scales around here. You can see that they're small little dash lines. Type in LTS. Enter. It's asking me for what the scale factor length is. Make that match whatever you scaled your title block up to. In this case, it's going to be 4. Enter. And now you can see those dashed lines come a lot more clearer to you. Okay, so this should be all that we need to do to complete this one so far. Thank you for watching it.